Welcome back, guys, to our 38-way ceramic coatings and sealants longevity test, this being update number 15, or the one-year and one-month mark. We did get a little of the frozen stuff last month for a few days, and the last 30 days weather, as well as the lifetime weather that this hood is seen is on your screen here. If you'd like to support the channel, all you need to do is hit that like button, subscribe, and comment down below if you have any experience with any of these products. If you're just joining us, please be sure to check out the entire series of each of these videos as there is a ton of work that goes into the research, prep, install, and continued testing of these. So normally here, I'm going to do my usual wash, but I generally never make exceptions to how I wash and what I wash with because I don't want to introduce any other outside variables. That being said, this particular test has something weird going on with it. I think it was the 10 inches or 25 centimeters of snow that we had right after this test started early last year, along with minus six Fahrenheit or minus 21 Celsius temperatures at the same time for about a week. And that appears to somehow have weakened the hydrophobics on this hood. So for that reason and that reason alone, a few of you have suggested that I do a full decon wash on this. I'm gonna meet you halfway on that one. I'm gonna spray Meguiar's D1801 iron decon at it on full strength, let it dwell for a few minutes, and then proceed to wash it as usual to see if that helps things out. That's about as far as I wanna take it as far as introducing any other variables because I, I have data points for all of these where when we test, the only variable is the weather. There's nothing else that's going to change any of this. So we'll go, we'll proceed to continue foaming it down, washing it, rinsing it, and seeing, inspecting the hydrophobic properties now. So let's see how that is. So jumping right into it, the one that says ethos is actually C Quartz UK 3.0 topped with SIC. And although it hasn't failed yet, you can see there's a little bit hanging on. It's really close. So likely next month, it's probably going to be completely dead. Owner's Pride is going to be a failure this month. You can see completely sticking to it. Pearl Nano Spray, the same. And Tech 580. Tech 580 and Owner's Pride, very similar products. Same failure points. No surprises there. Moving on over to IGL Kenzo Graphene. There we go, there we have another failure. One year, one month. You can see very small amount, maybe hanging in there, but I mean, it's it's gone. Gloss it, a little more hydrophobic, but again, it's not looking too great either. Moving over to KB Diamond Plus. There's still, it's still got a little bit of hydrophobics left on it. You can see that. So yeah, we'll leave it as weak, but it's not failed. Uh, BCC ceramic coating, kind of in the same boat. It's looking pretty weak, but it's doing all right for now. And soft 99 Fuso, there's just a little bit hanging on, but it the hydrophobics of it were very strong early on and they died off, but they were there's not complete failures yet. C Quartz Light SIC and C Quartz UK 3.0. All three of those seem to be doing all right. What's, what's odd is the, the one at the very beginning there, UK topped with SIC, it's not doing as well as SIC by itself. You can see, but all three are still hydrophobic. Over there to Adam's Graphene. It's got a little bit left. It's really close, but maybe, probably next month it's gonna be, it's gonna be done. And Jack's Wax 9H, we're going to call that one failed as well. You can see it's decided to completely start sticking. Nano Age 9H, that's the cheap Chinese coating. It's still hanging in there. Warregion 10H, it's looking pretty weak, but it's not to the point where we'd call it failed. And HK Tianme, it says JK on there, but HK Tianme, it is, well, what do you, yeah, it's really, really close. We'll give it a we'll give it a pass this month. There's just a little bit there. And then Avalon King looks like it's hanging in as well. So I'd really like to hear your thoughts on this update this month, guys. What do you think is causing this? Why are we getting early failures on these? There are no other variables other than the weather. 
and this has been exposed to record low temperatures. We normally don't get snow where I live here in Texas. We had 10 inches, 25 centimeters of snow, and it stayed that way for about a week. It was very, very cold, didn't get above freezing. And this was, you know, a few weeks after this test was first put outside. So you think things weren't fully cured, even though they sat in our shop and cure in our in our climate controlled shop for in excess of two weeks to fully cure. So some of these say, you know, eight hours, 24 hours until you can get it wet or expose it to the elements. I, I, you know, it's had plenty of time. We, we gave these the best possible scenario. It's a fully corrected hood, properly prepped, properly isopropyl alcohol wiped down before we installed everything. I mean, it's just the, it, it was installed in a climate controlled environment. Absolutely best case scenario for any of these products. So let me know in the comments. I really want to hear from you guys. And uh, that's where we're at this month. So we'll keep this test going until the last one fails as usual. wanted to jump in and show you the two spreadsheets I have. This is the master spreadsheet for just this test. And you can see the majority of these fail either around 30 days or six months. And then the, the rest of them are a year or longer. So we're getting towards the end of this. And just to look at my master spreadsheet that has everything here to see how it holds up to others. Look at that 303, 30 days, 30 days, 30 days. If you look at Adam's graphene, over a year, 210 days, 60 days, I had a bad batch that one, but for the most part, it's pretty consistent. That's why we like to test these products multiple times. But Glossit lasted, uh, you know, almost two years there. Uh, HK Tianme, it's being tested in another test, but Hydrosilex, 180 days, 180 days. IGL Kinzo graphene, 395 days, and then it lasted to the end on another. Uh, Meguiar's Hybrid Ceramic Spray Wax, 515, 360, 210. So there's a little bit of a difference there, but again, that's a new batch every time. Also, Nano Bond, about two years. Owner's Pride, it's weak in the other test at 300 days, and 395 failed here. You can go down to Tech 580, almost identical, 395 and 300. Turtle Wax Seal and Shine, 240 days, 270 days. Turtle Wax Flex Wax, 270 days, 300 days. Turtle Wax Max Wax, 90 days, 120 days. Spray Ceramic, 180 days, 270 days. You know, so very consistent results. Extreme Solutions Poly Seal, 30 days and 30 days. So again, let me know in the comments what you think is going on or if this is just, you know, we're just beyond a year, they're starting to fail. So thanks again for watching and we'll see you soon. <laughs>